So we're starting today's video off by going to Barnegat Skate Park. It's a small concrete park. There's not really a lot to do there, but there's a couple of interesting things. The half pipe doesn't have like a, ugh, that was another bug in my face, dude. Oh my God. The half pipe doesn't have like, the half pipe like doesn't have like anything underneath the deck part of it. It's like pretty open. And for New Jersey, we really don't have cool skate parks like that. So there's a couple things that I want to do. Well, one thing in general, I really want to mess around with the wall ride on it. But also an old friend of mine is coming to meet up with us and he's bringing his son who watches the channel and he started riding BMX lately and he's actually pretty good on his bike. So it's gonna be a lot of fun. Cool, if you're not feeling the skate park, we just pack it up and we can beat it. All right. Good one, Scott. <laughs> Good one. Obviously, you're referring to my <laughs> one glove. Where's your other one at? I don't know, Scott. <laughs> it might be in the bed of the caddy. I, I don't know. Your truck could have ate it. I don't know. Responsibility. Be careful, you know, being a smooth criminal around here. We're directly next to the police department, man. <laughs> How many can I come up with? I'm trying to think right now. I don't know, but you're at two, and I know there's, <laughs> there's got to be more. I'm trying here. So my challenge I'm setting for myself today is a wall ride on this flat part right here. I didn't bring my ramp out because I don't think I need it. I'm going to carve on it, try to see as high as I can go, and then come down off of it nice and smooth. Going to get Corey to film it for me right now. Now, I was here about a week ago with my friend and his son, and I was actually showing him to ride a couple different things, and I got him to wall ride it too. So that inspired me that I'm capable of doing it. If I'm able to teach a kid that has never done it before to do it, I think I could pull it off physically. Yo. That was good. That was good. I'm okay with that one. What's up? What the? What the? What the? He wanted the same chair. So the camera's like the same size as that guy. Probably about the same height. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. <laughs> we're borderline. Yeah, we're. I think we're pretty close so, right now. You know. We're not that far off. So I actually had an idea for Corey to do a trick on this also. I think it'd be perfect to do a war to tail upon. <laughs> yeah, burglar. That was sick. So what's up, Waylon? Good to see you on your bike. You got a new front tire? Yeah. Nice, man. Hey, I was telling everybody on the camera how you did the wall ride last week. And I just did it for the first time today. You want to do it again today? <laughs> no tingle. Okay, I'll do it. I think it'd be awesome, man. <laughs> Pedal, pedal, pedal. Nice, yeah. dude. That was awesome. Yeah, yeah. So do you know what you did wrong on that one? Yeah. Just went a little bit too high. Remember when we talked about carving last time? So let's carve a little bit. Dad set an example. Here we go, carve. Nice, dude. Good job. That was awesome, man. What about BMX is fun to you? Jumping my bike. Nice, dude. I only had my bike. Jared, what's it like having your son ride BMX? It's inspirational, man. <laughs> I mean, just think about it. Like, you started pretty much the same exact time that he did. Yeah, I started you know? racing when I was seven. And your life revolved around bikes for so long. Yep, seven and to he 16, he loves man. what he's doing right now, isn't he? He's stoked. I don't push him. Yeah, you just kind of just it. found it on his own, didn't he? Gave him the bike and showed him a video. <laughs> so cool. You're lucky, man. And you're pretty good in that bike already, man. So keep it up, dude. More like, can you do any tricks on your bike? I can do that. Let me see. Ooh, that's really cool. What do you call that trick? A hop. That's straight to the point. I like that. <laughs> that was sick. Yeah, regular. How you describe that right there? I don't know, that was a <laughs> Dark magic, John. Dark magic, yes, dark, dark magic. magic. <laughs> I can't wait for this one, guys. <gasps> Ooh. Well, I, I wanted to make sure he was all right, that's all. That's really nice of you. Yeah. I hope he does the same. <laughs> I'm just kidding, dude. I'm just kidding. <laughs> <gasps> <laughs> yeah, the, how do you classify that one? I don't know. That was even insane than this one over Extreme here. Extreme dark magic. Extreme dark magic. <laughs> I got to here and I'm like, I didn't expect to get to here. And then I'm like, wait, you need to go in. You didn't hop. Awesome. You ain't going to get this opportunity again. <laughs> you sure you want to do this? No. <laughs> I don't know, man. I think we just gotta ride skate parks that have small decks. Dark magic. <laughs> Excellent! Dude! 
dude. Oh man, I love it. I love seeing Waylon just so psyched on BMX, man. Brings me back to when me and his dad were younger riding. It's so cool to see. It's like reliving it again, seeing their excitement. <laughs> it was awesome. There are so many different tricks that I miss that I used to be able to do on my bike that I currently can't do right now. I mean, the list goes on forever, but one trick that I really miss, like just the feeling of it, is doing a manual. I remember being a kid and learning how to manual. I learned it in between a jump, being able to push down into a roller. And and my goal is to try to learn that eventually. But one thing I want to do today is kind of show you guys where I'm at with my manuals on the flat ground and talk to you about the hard parts of it and talk to you why I can't do them. And I'm also going to challenge myself for the first time today to see how far I can actually go and see if there even is a chance of me doing it on flat ground. Because the thing is, my hands don't have a lot of strength. Like my right hand, that is my worst hand. Like it's just, I, if I went to go shake somebody's hand or if I went to go squeeze something really hard, I just can't really do it. I can hold on enough onto the handlebars but there's a point where I get to where like I just can't do it and the thing is when you're doing a manual you can use your brakes to kind of help you from falling back especially in my situation where I don't have the reaction time to be able to step off the bike so that means I'm only gonna be able to ride with my thumb my ring finger and my pinky on the handlebar so that's gonna make things a little difficult trying to use the brake as well so there's a lot of things going against me in this but I'm going to attempt to see if I can get a little bit of a manual today I'm going to put it on a tripod and we're gonna keep on trying over and over again and see if I can make progress Progress. Now the thing with the manual, it's all about body positioning and finding that balance point. For me it's going to be difficult because my body is also really tight. So I'll show you for an example. My left side, I could put my arm up pretty good. I mean it's kind of a little stiff up there, but when it comes to my right side, it gets a lot worse. You can see I have a hard time doing it and now my arm's shaking from being tight. It's crazy guys. I try to explain this to people and a lot of you guys just won't understand and I'm so happy you guys won't understand because you can't understand until it happens to you. I'm going to try to get my body position farther back. I'm going to stretch out a little bit real quick and we're going to see if we can make this happen. So one thing I do every time before I ride, I stretch my arms out. Now the first thing I do is I try to grab something that's above my head and try to hold on to it and let my body hang from it a little bit. Just enough so it stretches my body out and I also stretch out the muscle in the back of my shoulder by turning my arm inward and leaning against the wall so it puts pressure against it and that loosens up my body big time I can only do this on my left side on my right side I can't do it because I can't get my arm to cooperate the thing is when you're doing a manual you want to be back here on the bike you want your arms to be straight so it's gonna be hard for me to get in this position but we're gonna try a couple I've never really attempted this before so I'm gonna do a bunch and see if I can make any progress at all and this will give me an idea of what I need to work on and hopefully I can find something that's going to be perfect for me to pull it one day. I'll be psyched on getting this back. It would be awesome to get the control to do this. So my first couple attempts, it was really hard to figure out how to pull back on the bike consistently, especially since one side is stronger than the other. So it seems like I was pulling up and kind of leaning to my right side. And after a few passes, I realized I was doing better on the downhill. So that's where I started to focus more of my energy on. On the next couple attempts, it was actually getting better. I felt myself pulling up more consistently. And one thing I was noticing, I'm keeping my hand on the handlebar while I'm pulling back, I keep my fingers on the brake and a couple times I would pull back and I would immediately start squeezing in just because my arms kind of lock up but trying my first manuals that really isn't too bad that's kind of what I expected at least and it gives me something to look forward to and work on now I want to start working out a little bit more I want to start doing more things that are you know off of the BMX bike that are gonna make me stronger I want to start messing around with weights and I also want to start stretching a lot more I don't stretch as much as I should be doing like I stretch you know every day when I'm gonna go ride and stuff with my arms but not with my legs and not with anything else so I'm wondering if I could put a stretch regimen on my daily routine if it's gonna loosen up my body a little bit more I've never really tried it and I'm at the point where I need to start doing that I think it could help I think it could loosen everything up because my body is so tight all the time as I was showing you guys before when I was trying to put my arm behind my back like my right arm for example if I go to just freely put my hand behind my back I can't do it that's as far as I can go right now but my left one I could easily move back like that so it's a big difference from my left side to my right side and I can show you guys different examples all the time everything from just straightening out my hand it's just a big difference see I try to do that as fast as I can and that's all I got so I'm thinking that more stretching can help out especially make me a little bit more mobile a little bit more agile and make me I don't know kind of react a little bit faster and for an example let me show you guys this I have never been flexible in my life here I am going to reach down for my toes that's as far as I can get right now. So just so we have this documented, I'm going to be stretching a lot and we're gonna see if it can get any better. So it's pretty sorry. It's not impressive at all. Like I, 
I'm borderline embarrassed because I know I should be stretching, but it's just, it's really difficult. Everything is difficult for me right now. Everything is an uphill battle and it's hard to kind of get the momentum going. I mean, I'm doing things that I want to do, like riding my bike and doing other challenges like that, but there's also going to be things that are going to help me get better that aren't riding a bike. And I am starting to accept that and I know what I need to do. I need to get involved. I need to start doing the right things and I plan on doing it. And hopefully that is going to lead me to the goal of being able to do the backflip because part of that challenge right there with the manual is for the backflip because when you do a backflip it's not you jump off a ramp and yank back it's all about techniques it starts by having that manual feel when you're going up the ramp pulling back and keeping your momentum going so this is all building up to that one moment and these are the baby steps this is where it's starting at and I'm I'm pretty proud of that I am but real quick I just want to thank everybody that's been ordering from can't slow down and also everybody that has been sending emails with their orders you know saying how inspirational my story is and how they've been supporting me forever like I've been getting those emails and I've been reading them and I really really appreciate it so thank you guys this has been an awesome awesome experience and if you guys want to get involved with cancel it down you guys can go and check out the website cancel we still have shirts that are in stock and we are working on new stuff that will be out in a few weeks I'm starting to dwindle down on everything on the first drop so thank you guys so much I really appreciate the support but that's gonna be it guys hope you enjoyed it till next time remember to subscribe channel and thanks for watching peace